On Friday, Abali Mustafa brigades, affiliated with the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, organized a military parade in Rafah city in the south of the Gaza Strip to commemorate the annual Quds Day. Resistant forces carried the flags of Palestinian officials and resistance figures, including Iran's top commander, Lieutenant General Qasem Soleimani, who was assassinated by the U.S. earlier this year. Resistance for us is the noblest value on earth, and we will die for Palestine. This is our message to the world. We really honor and respect all the resistance figures like Soleimani and Nasrallah, who never gave up supporting and defending Palestine. We are following in their footsteps. The International Quds Day is aimed at highlighting the Palestinian cause and drawing attention to the Israeli occupation. Palestinians say despite the plots hatched by Israel and the U.S., Jerusalem al-Quds will be the eternal capital of Palestine. Quds Day comes to prove that free people all over the world still believe in humanity and human rights and that Jerusalem al-Quds is the capital of Palestine. And if people in Damascus and Tehran make efforts and hold protests to support Jerusalem al-Quds, we should also sacrifice our lives to free Jerusalem. The annual event is held on the last Friday of the holy month of Ramadan due to the coronavirus restrictions. However, the parade this year was held two weeks earlier than usual. Palestinian resistance groups in Gaza stressed that they won't sit idly by while Israel continues to commit crimes against Palestinians. They say their efforts will continue until the liberation of Palestine and Jerusalem al-Quds. Palestinians here say they will resist all the attempts to Jewitize Jerusalem al-Quds and strip the holy city of its Muslim identity. Resistant movements say they will never forget Quds Day as it keeps the Palestinian cause alive and honors all those who fought for it. Ruba Shabet, First TV, Gaza.